Another iOS update means more features for your iPhone or iPad. First things first, new emojis will be added to your keyboard, 72 to be exact. So many that you'll need a search bar. Here are a few worth getting familiar with. In the happy face section, you'll get sideways laughing face, clown, and cowboy. Sick happy faces? How about the sneeze, the drool, or the green face? In new professions category, we have the male disco dancer, the rocker chick, and the apple genius. And new reactions include the shrug and the face palm. In the wine and dine category, whiskey, burrito, and everything's better with bacon. Other favorites include the punch, the hang ten, and the selfie. And in sadder news, the Peach and iOS 10.2 doesn't look quite as juicy. If you like to use the camera settings or filters when you take photos, iOS 10.2 now lets you save them for easy access. Under the Photos and Camera section in Settings, scroll down and click Preserve Settings. This includes the mode, filter, or live photo options. Your iOS device will be adopting the emergency call feature that first appeared on the Apple Watch. If you're in danger, you can now secretly press the on and off button five times to call the emergency services number in one of the 14 participating countries. The feature is activated by default on this beta version, but you can deactivate or remove the warning buzz from the settings. If you've set up emergency contacts in the Health app, you can also choose to notify them of your call and last location as part of this emergency SOS. Ever lost a text message when typing from the quick response bubble? That's been fixed on iOS 10.2 and you can resume writing in full screen without having to rewrite a response. Also in the Messages app, Celebration Screen. 3D Toucher long press the message arrow and scroll down to the last screen option to unleash the sparklers. And lastly, if you've been eyeing my background and you have an iPhone 7 or 7 Plus, you now have three new wallpaper options to choose from. Sadly, no live effect though. You should also get the new TV app we saw at the latest keynote with the upgrade to iOS 10.2. So stay tuned for our first look on CNET.com.